to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this v neckline with a tie so this is going to be the illustration for it so basically you've already cut your fabric you already have let's say this is your back panel you've cut out the arm hole, cut out the shoulder slope you have this neckline this is the front panel you've done the same thing this is just an illustration right so what you're going to do is let's say this is the front neckline you're going to determine the v neck you want how deep you want it to be let's say you want like about seven inches deep v-neck on on someone this v-neck will be too small so let's say on someone you might be thinking let's say about eight or nine or ten because that's how deep you might want the v to go so this v-neck line now you're going to go ahead and cut it out right so guys now i'm going ahead and cut out the neckline right the v i've cut it out so what we're going to do now is to take you're going to take a fabric and you're going to cut out a facing for this neckline so guys what you're going to do is you're going to cut out what you use for the facing so you see i cut out another fabric here placed it this way and then i took this here this is on a fold right and then i took this one also on a fold placed it here so i'm going to cut this same neckline on this here so mark it out with the chalk and then follow the same line and cut it out this is going to be my facing so now that i have my facing what i'm going you see my facing here so now what i'm going to do is to open it up this way and then take this one here and then place it this way so it's like this so you see i have the right side of my facing facing the right side of my top i'm going to place it together this way and then sew it like a v neckline so guys now that i've sewn it down i'm going to go ahead and notch it I'm going to just notch it this way just to release the tension but try to avoid the stitch at the end so guys down now that I've done this what I'm going to do is to flip this inside out and then iron it so you're going to flip it this way and once you flip it this way you see you have the this part will now be neat and then after you're going to so, you, so now that I've flipped it inside out this is what we have right now so you go ahead and iron it down so guys now it's ironed what you're going to do is to take your back neckline and join it to this so you take your back place it here and then you're going to sew it but remember when you sew it so let me flip it around so you see you see the right side of my back panel and the right side of my front panel when you take it to sew it start from the edge and join the shoulder you see, you will be left with about half an inch at this top part because you see, normally when you join your shoulder, your neckline will reach up to this here before the curve of this neckline here. But because you've used, you've already sewn half of it into this uh, flap here, into your neckline here, the facing, you'll be left with this much distance here and then you'll be also left with this much distance on this side. Because when you sew your shoulder, it will stop from this point to this point but you'll be left with this here just don't bother with that just go ahead and so close your shoulder on on the two sides so guys as you can see this is the piece that I was talking about here that is still left behind so what we're now we are going to attach our tie to that part so what you're going to do is to cut what you use for your tie you can cut um, about four inches of weight and then any amount of strap that you how long you want your strap to be so you cut four inches of weight and what you're going to do is to fold it into two this way go ahead and just place it at the top part of the shoulder here like find halfway of the belt let's say you fold it into two and this is halfway length find the center and this is the center for me you're going to figure out where you need to sew it close like if you start from this point okay so let's say i'm going to sew it up to this point and then I'm going to sew it up to this point because this is where my neckline stops. So you see, that's why I, I marked this point. So you see, this is where my neckline is. This is where my neckline is. So that's why I marked it up to this point and up to this point. So I'm going to go ahead, close up this edge, close up this edge and sew it all the way down and stop at this point. Do the same thing on this side. Close it up on this edge and then I'm going to close it all, all the way to this point. But I'm going to leave this part open. So this part that I, I notched, is going to be open which is what i marked from this point of this neckline here i'm going to it's going to be open and then i'm going to flip the two ends of the belt out so guys you see i have that part open here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip the end of this belt in on the two sides so i'm going to flip it out so guys now that i've ironed it out as you can see i flipped it inside out and ironed it so what you're going to do is you can go ahead and when you are ironing it you can just iron in that half an inch here 
that you used in sewing it so you can iron that half an inch down all the way through so it will be to just take it here start from one side here and sew it all the way down to the other side and then when you're done you use this one here to cover it up right so let's say you go ahead now take this one here sew it all the way down to the other end and then after sewing it down you move it around and use this one to cover it on top of it and sew it down again or another method can be when you iron it in this way all you have to do is just to you see the way it's ironed in now so you just go over to one end of this here you see what we are trying to sew in now is just this excess part that is here this is what we are trying to sew in so let me mark out what we are trying to sew in we are trying to sew in all this part all the way to this end so you see where my chalked mark my chalk marked on this neckline this is what we're trying to sew in so now that you've ironed it you already know that this space is what you need you can just go ahead now put this part inside of this here you see i ironed in half an inch of each side of this belt so you're going to go ahead put this in between here and then you're going to go ahead and start sewing it down all the way to the other end of it so guys as you can see i've sewn mine you see it started all the way from that end and it's here so now when i flip it out so you see if i flip it now to the right side and bring out this tie you see it's inside of the neckline so you see what it looks like now so guys this is basically it you see my tie is just at the back neckline that line between the back neckline coming up that's where this tie is my front neckline is done separately so that's basically how you do this here so you see and then when you pull it over into the neckline you can tie it inside here and then it just drops inside this belt is supposed to be longer but you see this is just an illustration so that's basically it and when you get to this end here try to double stitch it so you don't lose your stitch or you can even come out about one inch and one inch here just so you have your stitch strong so that's basically how you do this here so thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye